We've got the upcoming Supreme Nike NBA collaboration releasing this week. And you know we got to speak about it. Before we do, please subscribe if you're new. And hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. It is crucial you do so. So that YouTube gets the okay that it is okay to notify you when I upload a new video. So you don't miss out on any future content. So hit that bell. Bang. Now, this Supreme collaboration with Nike and the NBA gives me that vibe from back in the days. I remember back in the days, Heads used to wear these jackets and they had the logos from all the NBA teams all over the jackets. They were either leather or maybe they weren't. They were like um, them kind of like starter kind of jackets with that. I forgot what the material is, satin or I don't know the exact material. Let me know in the comments. May have even been corduroy. But I remember these jackets back in the days. We're talking like, you know, like early 2000s, late 90s. And they were super popular. I knew friends that had them. I never owned one of those. Um, I used to rock the chalk line jackets back in the days. I remember having this Charles Barkley one when he was with the Sixers. And uh, that jacket I loved so much. And I remember ordering it. And the only size available was like a XL. And it was huge on me. But I was such a fan of Charles Barkley. I just loved watching him. And I loved his energy. Some people would say, you know, he was like real rough on the court and all that. But I like that. I dig that about him. You know, he was like, like real tough on the court. So I really was always a big fan of Charles Barkley. To tell you the truth, if I had the choice to meet Michael Jordan or Charles Barkley, I'd rather meet Charles Barkley. He's not my favorite basketball player, Michael Jordan is, but, like, I just, I dig Charles Barkley. Like, his personality, people either love or hate him, but I think he's awesome. I know I totally went off subject right there, but <laughs> it just, just bring me back to when I was a kid, the chalk line jackets, and then there's these jackets. Chalk line may even made these type of style jackets back in the days. I don't know. Hit me in the comment box and let's talk about you know back in the days for the heads that know about that fashion um it was a long time ago so like i know but not exactly you know it's 2018 that was many many moons ago but this will release this air force one mid on the 8th of this month and it will release on thursday in the united states and europe at 11 a.m okay 11 a.m on the internet on supreme's website and i'm a little unsure if it's going to release at the stores i'm pretty sure it is but i'm not a hundred percent you may want to check your supreme retailer and find out what the whole deal is with that is it going to release on nike.com that's a good question i am not a hundred percent sure on that either but i am pretty sure it eventually will it will be available 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Supreme's website. So if you want these shoes, be sure you're ready because they're going to fly off the website. They will sell out in probably 50 seconds or less. So you have to be fast. As far as the fit to the Air Force One, I personally go down half a size. I highly recommend you go down half a size unless you have a wide foot stay true to size but if you don't have a wide foot and you're not familiar with air force ones me personally go down half a size i'm not the biggest air force one guy but let me tell you something probably for 20 years every single spring i had to buy a pair of white on white air force ones living in new york it was absolutely mandatory once the weather got nice you bought a pair of air force ones uptowns everyone got different nicknames for them it was mandatory you had a crispy fresh pair at least one pair you know depending on how your funds were 
If your funds were kind of tight, you would make sure that you keep them bad boys clean. Every single day, you're hitting it with the toothbrush. Not the same one that you use to brush your teeth with, you know. But you'd have your, your sneaker toothbrush and just go to work on that with some soap and water. And make sure them bottoms are crispy, crispy clean. And there will be clothes available along with it. There's going to be jerseys, there's going to be jackets, there's going to be shorts. So there's some really dope clothing to go with the shoes. But, you know, if you're trying to get the sneakers or the jacket or whatever, you go for that one item and you try to check out as soon as possible. Don't try to throw multiple stuff in your cart because if something's sold out, then, you know, the site just ain't working for you. It's just totally going to throw you off. So that's my best advice with supreme i i really stopped buying supreme uh the past couple of years because it's just annoying and frustrating not being able to buy the stuff anymore it was always kind of popular but it wasn't to the point where you had one minute to buy the shoes or the apparel or it's a wrap like you would have maybe 10 minutes <laughs> you know but now it's like you have if you're lucky one minute to get it all done so Good luck out there. I will try to update that. I won't try. I will update it over on my blog, thesneakeraddict.com, for your convenience to help you out with any news as far as with Nike.com. I'm sure I will find out 12 hours after this goes up what exactly is going on with Nike.com. So I will post images there, and I will have images of the apparel too if you're curious about that. Now, don't leave me yet. Because I got to let you guys know about the podcast if you don't know. YouTube is really a pain in my you-know-what lately. They have been messing my channel up and it's just been crazy. I'm trying to create outside of YouTube now. I will continue doing these videos so no worries. But this is for people that love what I do to the point where they want more. And one thing people have been missing is the podcast. I will be doing a podcast once a week. Every single week I will do a podcast where you will be able to be an executive producer of the actual show by letting me know what you want me to speak about. This is a Patreon exclusive only. So the only way to get down with this podcast and be able to listen to it is through Patreon. I will not be uploading this on YouTube. I may clip little segments here and there if it has to do with sneakers and you know it's relevant i may post just like a little segment but as far as the full hour podcast that you will get once a week the only way to hear them is through patreon.com backslash dj dells that will be linked in the description box below not only do you get four podcasts a week but i will be doing a giveaway once a month it won't be a sneaker giveaway, but it'll be fun things that you guys will enjoy and ladies will enjoy. This podcast, as far as content, is all up to you. You guys want me to speak about sneakers, other YouTubers, anything you want me to speak about. It could be about movies. It could be about music. It could be about WWE. Anything you want me to speak about. Advice. Maybe you want me to give you some advice, you know? Whatever you want me to speak about, it's going to be up to you, the Patreons. This is your show. So what you need to do is go to my Patreon that will be linked in the description box below. Join and then look for the feed, the first post. It's a very simple site to go on and, you know, join and look for the post for the first podcast. Leave your questions. You can leave more than one question. If you want to leave 10 questions, go ahead. This is your show. It's an hour worth of content. At least I'm going to try to do one hour. I will do one hour, but it may go over depending on how much content and what I want to speak about. So far, if people wanted me to speak about other YouTubers who I think is corny to just the sneaker game in general, how it's declined. There's a lot of awesome questions already. And you could be a part of that and add more to it or even just listen to it. Because the only way you're going to listen to it is on my Patreon. This is me doing something different away from YouTube. Because I do not like the way YouTube is going lately. They're treating a lot of their content creators like crap. And I 
am going to continue to be on YouTube, but also do other stuff on different outlets. Right now, I'm going to be focusing on my Patreon on top of my YouTube. And then, probably after that, I will start doing stuff on Facebook Live. I'm beginning to work something out with Facebook, so that will be next. That's another big popular thing now with Facebook. YouTube just is not treating their content creators properly the way they used to. And I'm going to continue to keep putting stuff here because I have a good amount of people that watch the videos. But I definitely want to branch out. I definitely want to branch out more. So Patreon is the move. Don't miss out because this Patreon podcast is going to be filled with controversy, humor, and real talk. So you're going to enjoy it. Trust me. I will have zero chill. When I'm on YouTube, I have to have some kind of guidelines going on. This is going to be no holds barred. I am going to go totally in all the time. So definitely right now, join the Patreon. Thumbs up the video. Thanks for tuning in. Much love. We out.